वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन 2.71 एंड द स्टेटमेंट इट हैज इज एज द सिचुएशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 2.69 माइंड सजेस्ट स्टैटिस्टिकल प्रोसीजर्स आर ऑफन यूज्ड फॉर कंट्रोल ऑफ क्वालिटी इट इज इंडस्ट्रियल क्वालिटी कंट्रोल एट टाइम्स द वेट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट वेरिएबल टू कंट्रोल स्पेसिफिकेशंस आर गिवन फॉर द वेट ऑफ अ सर्टेन पैकेज प्रोडक्ट and a package is rejected if it is either too light okay it can be either too light or too heavy uh, historical data suggests that 0.95 is the probability that the product meets weight specifications okay so let me write given data here so given data according to the given data that the product can be of normal weight okay or let me write p of n is equal to 0.95 probability of the normal weight uh, similarly weight specification where as 0.002 is the probability that the product is too light okay so probability of too light is equal to 0.002 For each single package product, the manufacturer invests twenty dollars in production, and the purchase price for the consumer is twenty-five dollars. So, on the basis of it, what we can find out, we can find out here the profit for each product, and that would be the twenty-five dollars, twenty-five point zero zero minus twenty point zero zero, and that would be how much? That would be five point zero zero. so on the basis of these two items we have found out the profit in each item okay so on the basis of this data what do we have to find out there are three options here or three parts of this question in part a what is the probability that a package chosen randomly from the production line is too heavy okay we have found out that the probability of the normal package is 0.95 the probability of the two light weight is 0.002 but we don't know the probability of the too heavy package so therefore in order to do so what do we have if the probability of too heavy is probability of h okay so uh, we know that probability of too heavy plus probability of too light weight plus probability of the normal Package that is always equal to one. Okay, so let me find out the value of p of h. So p of heavy is that would be one minus probability of the light weight plus probability of the normal. Okay, now let me put their values here. So one minus probability of light weight is zero point zero zero two. and the probability of normal is 0.95 okay so we will get 1 minus 0.952 okay and subtracting it from 1 i will get 0.048 okay so that is what that is the answer of part a So that is the answer of part A. Similarly, in order to find the solution of part B, for each ten thousand packages sold, what profit is received by the manufacturer if packages meet weight specification? Okay, so for each package, we have found out the amount of profit which is given here. So now, in order to find the total amount of profit for the ten thousand packages, that would be the number of packages which are ten thousand. multiplied by the amount of the profit uh, which we can get for one package that is $5 so on the basis of it we will get $50000 so that is basically the amount of the profit for the 10000 package similarly now assuming that all defective packages are rejected and rendered worthless how much is the profit reduced on 10000 packages due to failure to meet weight specific so if we are getting 10000 10000 packages what is the probability that 
the packages will be defective so that would be here so if i am getting the probability of 0 0.95 for the normal packages so for the defective one the probability would be 1 minus 0 0.95 so that would be 0 0.95 0.05 okay so for the defective one this is given here now in order to find the number of the defective packages from these 10,000 packages what do we have to do I have to multiply this 10,000 with the probability of the defective items and that is 0 0.05 okay so multiplying it what I will get here it will be this one these two will cancel out and from it I will get here 500 so uh, for the 500 packages how much uh, cost will I get and how much profit will it has so let me multiply this 500 with this $25 which is the total cost which not only includes the actual car but also the profit as well so therefore it will be 25 multiplied by 500 is that would be 12,000 500 dollars okay so that is what that is the cost which will be reduced from this 50,000 if we will get the defective items according to the probability which we have found out here okay so that is basically the solution of part c in which we have found out the solution of the three parts on the basis of different conditions so that's it for today if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.